we become what we think about. Today, we're thinking about relationships. Uh, I had the pleasure to go to Eastern Hills Community Church a couple weeks ago and be a keynote speaker on foundation of a father. Well, today, if you're a parent, this is going to be about parenting. And if you're not a parent, uh, this, can, this, will be, this will be relatable to any relationship that we all have, any key relationship that we have. So in my foundation of a father speech, I talked about five key points. The first point was forgiveness. I told a story about my dad and his dad. My dad forgave his dad, which created stable ground for him. Then he passed that stable ground to me. And number two point that we talked about was honor. While my father and I were on that stable ground, I learned a valuable lesson in my life is to honor your parents and God will bless you with a long life. So I had to unpack some things that I did not honor my parents with and I had to go back and clean that up and I did. Because in the step three, that helped me be conscious to don't exasperate my children. I cannot bring my children into uh, to anger. I cannot bring any relationship to anger with an intent or with even if I'm not conscious to it, if I bring them to anger, that does not make that a healthy relationship. Uh, Point number four is an 84 rule. And this is a very simple mindset of begin with the end in mind. Everything you do, how does this impact people? How does this impact my kids, my wife, my spouse, my significant other, my teammates, my players, my, uh, my, my head coach, my, my mentor? Everything you do, what are they going to be saying about you at 84 years old sitting in a rocking chair? When they walk by you, what do you want them to say? Be mindful of it today. Begin with the end of mind. Number five is 50-20 vision in 2020. 5020 tells us out of Genesis 5020 that it doesn't matter what's happened in the past. It doesn't matter where I'm at today. What matters is where am I going into the future? Because God can take anything that's good, ugly, and bad, and he can use it for his glory if we'll make ourselves available. I hope these five points gave you some encouragement today to take another step in all of your key relationships and Simple put, just go make a play. Hey, you can do it. You were created for greatness. Go take that next step. Thank you very much.